Hi guys, I'm Paul. In this video I'm going to explain how many Bitcoin I think you will need to be a millionaire. And stay watching until the end as I will give my detailed price prediction for the next bull run. I will also cover Bitcoin's limited supply and how this affects the price, the Bitcoin white paper and the up and coming Bitcoin halving event which will give you an indication of when I think the next bull run will start. So stay tuned for that. And if all that wasn't enough, I will give a Bitcoin price prediction for 2030 that you won't want to miss. Just a quick disclaimer before we start, the information in this video is meant for educational purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Okay, now let's begin. About Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital currency designed to act as a form of money and payments that are made on the network are outside the control of central authorities like banks. Bitcoin uses a proof-of-work consensus mechanism to complete transactions. It works by miners verifying transactions by solving cryptographic puzzles and for all completed blocks of transaction miners make on the network, they are awarded with some Bitcoin. Satoshi Nakamoto, an unknown person or group of people, invented Bitcoin in 2008 and Bitcoin was officially released as open source software in 2009. There have been many rumours over the years about who Satoshi Nakamoto is, including Hal Finney, Hal Finney was an American software developer who received the very first Bitcoin transfer in 2009 from Satoshi, with some people saying he could have been the one who transferred the Bitcoin to himself. Finney, however, denied he was Satoshi Nakamoto up until his death sadly in 2014 at the age of 58. Nick Sabo Nick Sabo is a computer scientist and cryptographer who designed a decentralised currency he called Bitgold in 1998 years before Bitcoin. However, Bitgold was never fully implemented and only made public in 2005. Sabo has always denied he was Satoshi Nakamoto. A Bitcoin white paper was published in October 2008 outlining the Bitcoin network's main use case was to create a trustless system for electronic transactions and the name Bitcoin was chosen by taking the two words bit and coin to form Bitcoin. Bitcoin has been said to be a digital gold, which I can see it being in the future once the price volatility stabilises as it's still a relatively new asset class compared to gold. If you can stomach the volatility and hold long term, you could do pretty well, as I feel if you take 2021 as an example, Bitcoin started at $32,000 and peaked at over $68,000. It did, however, close the year down at around $46,000, which is why I think if you are able to hold for the long term and don't invest more than you can afford to lose, it could be a good long term addition as part of a diversified portfolio. Bitcoin's all time high price at time of recording is $68,789. Bitcoin Limited Supply The total maximum supply of Bitcoin is 21 million and there will never be any more than this ever created or mined because this 21 million Bitcoin limit was hard coded into the blockchain by creator Satoshi Nakamoto. It's estimated the last ever Bitcoins will be mined in the year 2140. One of the key fundamentals which makes Bitcoin unique and sets it apart from traditional currencies is the Bitcoin halving event, whereby the rewards for mining is cut in half. Currently in 2023, miners who validate transactions on the Bitcoin blockchain are awarded 6.25 Bitcoins per each block. However, with the next halving expected in April 2024, the rewards for miners will then fall to only 3.125 Bitcoins. What this basically means is it will reduce the number of new Bitcoins created and this lowers the available new Bitcoin supply. Based on the law of supply and demand, this would likely mean less Bitcoin available to the marketplace will increase the overall price of Bitcoin over time. So what happens when all 21 million Bitcoins have been mined? Once all 21 million Bitcoins have been mined, no more Bitcoins can be created and the value of Bitcoin will be based solely on supply and demand. Bitcoin miners will obviously be affected by this once all the Bitcoin has been mined. However, it's likely that they will still be able to make money from the processing of transactions on the blockchain. It's estimated 4 million Bitcoin have been lost to date, but this number could be higher due to people losing their private keys which are needed to access their digital wallets which store their Bitcoin. This therefore reduces the total overall supply from 21 million Bitcoin to around 17 million total supply of Bitcoin. And to put this into context, there are currently 47 million millionaires in the world. And so not every single millionaire will be able to own one whole Bitcoin. In one unfortunate case, a computer engineer accidentally threw away a hard drive containing 8,000 Bitcoins in 2013, worth approximately £150 million today, and has been trying to get clearance for the past 10 years to search for it in a landfill site in Newport, South Wales. 
Which Bitcoin marine species are you? Glassnode, an on-chain market intelligence data company, put together a report which listed which marine species a Bitcoin investor is based on the amount of Bitcoin they hold. The report breaks it down into the following sections. Investors with less than one Bitcoin are called shrimp. Investors with one to 10 Bitcoin are called crab. Investors with 10 to 50 Bitcoin are called octopus. Investors with 50 to 100 Bitcoin are fish. Investors with 100 to 500 Bitcoin are a dolphin. Investors with 500 to 1000 Bitcoin are sharks. Investors with 1000 to 5000 Bitcoin are whales. More than 5000 Bitcoins are humpback whales. The attached chart shows a summary of the Bitcoin supply ownership distribution by Glassnode taken from their data in January 2023. It shows the number of Bitcoins owned by each section. We can see from the chart that the largest percentage of Bitcoin owned fall into the humpback whales, greater than 5,000 Bitcoin held, and whales, 1,000 to 5,000 Bitcoin held categories, which together equates to a total of 28% of all the Bitcoin held. Bitcoin White Paper The Bitcoin White Paper, officially called Bitcoin A Peer-to-Peer -peer Electronic Cash System, was published in October 2008 by Satoshi Nakamoto and was only nine pages long. The Bitcoin white paper outlines the Bitcoin network's main use case, which was to create a trustless system for electronic transactions and payments, meaning a payment system which couldn't be controlled by central authorities like governments or banks. One of the biggest concerns Bitcoin wanted to fix was the lack of trust in the traditional banking system, with the customer having to rely on the banks to safeguard all their data. The Bitcoin network allows for a high level of privacy as every user is identifiable only by addresses which is made up of a sequence of 26 to 35 characters. A user only needs this identifiable address to send and receive Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network and the public can view all transactions made on the Bitcoin blockchain without any extra personal or private information being made available. Another key point the Bitcoin white paper mentions is the predetermined number of Bitcoins which can be mined, with just a 21 million maximum supply available that can't be changed. It's now been 15 years since the Bitcoin white paper was released, and it does feel like, with the current uncertainty surrounding the economy and the banks, Satoshi's plan to create a trustless system for payments all those years ago becomes more important today than ever before. Bitcoin halving. A Bitcoin halving event occurs every four years and reduces the rewards for mining new Bitcoin by half and the aim is to reduce the rate new coins are created, lowering the new supply available over time. What makes the event special is after each previous halving, Bitcoin has seen big price increases, which is one of the main reasons investors pay close attention to it. The next Bitcoin halving is expected in April 2024 and when this event happens, the current Bitcoin being mined will go from 6.25 Bitcoins per block to only 3.125 Bitcoins per block. The attached image shows the Bitcoin halving events from as far back as 2009 up until the next halving which is due in 2024. You can see that back in 2009 50 Bitcoin could be mined per block and how over time with each halving event the Bitcoin being mined has now been cut by 50% to only 3.125 Bitcoin being mined by 2024. As we can see from the price chart, after each of the last three halving events, it has led to a spike in higher prices, leading to the next bull market. Key points of Bitcoin Bitcoin has several benefits that make it a great solution, including Decentralization Bitcoin is a digital currency designed to act as a form of money outside the control of central authorities like banks and governing authorities. Privacy Transactions work using addresses made of a sequence of characters which don't contain any personal information such as credit card numbers, making it good for privacy. Limited supply. With Bitcoin only having a maximum supply of 21 million and taking into account that it's estimated 4 million of this total supply has been lost forever, limited supply, increased demand should increase the price of Bitcoin over time. How many Bitcoin to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Okay, so before we look at the price prediction for Bitcoin in the next bull run, let's remind ourselves of Bitcoin's previous all-time high price, which was $68,789. This price gave it a market cap of around $1.3 trillion. With this information about the previous market cap and all-time high price, because Bitcoin is the number one cryptocurrency in the world, we can't really compare it with any other cryptocurrency. 
but many experienced investors are comparing it to gold. So let's take a look at the current market cap of gold for a reference point. As we can see, the current market cap of gold is around 13 trillion. I personally can't see Bitcoin hitting anywhere near this in the next bull run, given its previous market cap was 1.3 trillion. However, I do think 3 trillion is achievable, given the next halving event is fast approaching. If Bitcoin was to get to 3 trillion market cap in the next bull run, this would give it a price of 150,000. On the higher end, if Bitcoin was able to get to 3.8 trillion market cap, this would give it a price of $200,000 per Bitcoin. I believe a price prediction of between $120,000 and $150,000 Bitcoin is possible in the next bull run. But how many Bitcoin would you need to be a millionaire in the next bull run? Using CoinStats, a crypto profit calculator, if we enter the current price and the predicted sell price of $150,000, we can see it would require a significant investment of $200,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. If we do the same again, but this time set the sell price at the very high end of our price prediction of $200,000, you would need an investment of around $150,000 at today's price to get to the $1 million mark in the next bull run. At the 150,000 Bitcoin price prediction, you would need to buy around seven Bitcoins, which is an investment of $200,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. At the higher end of our $200,000 price prediction, you would need to buy around 5.2 Bitcoins, which is an investment of 150,000 at today's price to become a millionaire in the next bull run. Bitcoin price prediction 2030. A recent report by ARK Invest, which is founded by Kathy Wood, has made a bold price prediction that Bitcoin could hit $1 million by 2030. It also states in the report that cryptocurrencies could be worth around $20 trillion and smart contracts like Ethereum could be worth $5 trillion in market value within the next 10 years. The following chart taken from the ARK Invest Big Ideas 2023 report, which I will leave a link in the description below, shows the bear case, base case and bull case prices for Bitcoin by 2030. And we can see that the bear case price for Bitcoin is $258,500, with the bull case price target for Bitcoin being $1.48 million for one Bitcoin. These prices have been attributed with the assumption that certain markets and asset funds put percentages of Bitcoin on their books, which when broken down like this seems plausible. The biggest challenge I think Bitcoin has to overcome, at least in the short term, is regulatory uncertainty. What I mean by that is by making it easier for large asset funds to invest in Bitcoin. But once we have this, which I think will come soon, this will open the floodgates for institutional investors to freely invest in Bitcoin, which is already starting to happen. If you like this video, please feel free to watch this video next and thank you for watching. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to stay notified of when I post my next video. Thank you.